Well, look at this snazzy fucker. Someone finally made it. We have been waiting for a sign from outside for so long. Welcome, stranger. What's going on here? The King's protective barrier sealed the orcs in here with us. The orcs have captured half the city. We need help. This fire chalice must be taken to Corypto, the highest ranking fire mage in the King's castle. Someone must break through the orcs' position and reach the castle. What sort of place is this? It is the old temple of Enos for this city. We retreated here, and now we're stuck. I have to get to the king. There is a whole garrison of orc warriors between here and the castle. Only a madman would try to make his way through the city to the castle. Just tell me how to get to the castle. When you leave the temple, look south. The high walls and towers are part of the king's castle. But to get there, you have to pass through the orc-infested city, stranger. Give me the fire chalice. All right. But be careful with it. Don't let them take it from you. It is extraordinarily valuable. What can be done against the orc's superior numbers? Absolutely nothing. They are dug into the streets like ticks. They are led by five commanders who occupy the most important positions in the city. The commanders would have to be eliminated before we stand any chance at all of reconquering the city. I'll take care of the five orc commanders. I hope your fighting skill is as great as your arrogance, stranger. The commanders have settled in the large houses of the city. Good luck. I hope to see you again in one piece. What is so important about this fire chalice? You're asking me? All I know is that the fire mages are crazy for the things. Well, that's that. So, yeah, as the intro very clearly showed, a lot of the orcs got sealed inside the city with a barrier. There's only two, three people standing guard right now, but the orcs are everywhere. We can already see a few over there. They seem to be having kind of a tense standoff with the line here. You can see more on outside that house. So generally the locations of the commanders are pretty obvious. They're usually some of the biggest or more strategically placed buildings around. And in many cases are in fact the only buildings still standing. The city's really not as big as it looks. It's just the fact that it takes so long to get through it that makes it kind of tough. However, there is one way that I'm aware of that you can get through mostly without combat. I'll show you that in just a second. That's how we're going to start this thing off. But we will come back and take out uh, all the orcs in the city before the end of the day. You've come from the outside, haven't you? I hope you've got more guts than all the other cowards around here. How can I help you? The question is, how can we help each other, brother? I need to get inside the castle. And I suppose you could use a comrade in arms with whatever lies ahead of you. Let me fight by your side. What's your business in the castle? I must report to Cobra, the Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Guard. He needs to know that there are some people left here struggling to survive. So he will follow us to the city. We can get him to come with us. And he will be a pretty useful combat companion. But the problem is, of course, that the huge numbers of the orcs pose a bigger problem to him than they would do to us. Because, obviously, he does not have our adaptive intelligence where we can actually retreat from the city if it gets too uh, difficult. So the layout of this temple is exactly the same as the one in Geldern, only this door out here is actually blocked off to prevent the orcs from coming in. However, the windows expose you, of course, and if the orcs see you through the windows, they will actually come all the way over here to try and kill you. And that will start a huge conflict with everybody in here. And most of them, if any of them, will probably not survive. So, uh, before we even deal with George... And the rest of the fools here. We're gonna try and make our way to the castle itself. Of course, easiest way would be to try and climb it. But obviously that's not possible in the uh in the mechanics of this game. So our other alternative is to hop down into the creek here. And with the ability we have, that's very easily done. And I recommend you sneak as you uh, go further down this little canal here, just to make sure that none of the orcs hear you.
And you can continue going down this way. Which will, in fact, lead you kind of to the base of the castle and sort of underneath it. But as you can well imagine, it doesn't really solve anything. Uh, that ramp there just leads into another much bigger horde of orcs, which we do not want to deal with. So the way to go is all the way to the end here. Until you reach a point where you can actually jump up onto this side. And that's that. Broken. Of course, we're not out, we're not totally in the clear yet. Even though we skirted around most of the orcs. There's still a few that are going to get in our way before the end. Uh, that's The skeletons of a lot of people who I think were on just the very ass end of the uh, barrier's expansion and just got devastated by the barrier. Either that or they're just part of the men-at-arms who are fighting to prevent the orcs from getting close enough to the city trying to defend this road here and obviously did not succeed too well. In fact, many of them are placed in uh, very dishonorable positions to try and make a statement to any uh, humans who might come across them. And there's another orc uh, campsite up there. In fact, if we follow this road, we'll end up at a stone circle which is very close to our idea. And in fact, has an NPC that I meant to talk to a long time ago. I guess I kind of forgot about that. I've never really looked at the beach here. I don't think there's anything down here. I'm supposed to take a quick look. Of course, this barrier does stretch out quite far into the sea, so you can't just swim out and get around it. You are stuck here. Assuming you never picked up a teleporter stone at any other city. But uh, actually, it's kind of surprises me that, in fact, they did come up with a um, sort of failsafe if you foolishly did enter the city without any teleporter stones to get out of it. The only caveat is you have to get to the castle to get out of the city, so it kind of does have that requirement. But of course, none of you who are watching this would actually... I, I mean, what I mean is, I'm sh assuming any of you watching this probably are fully aware of where the teleporter stones are. So this is the tricky part. See, this is one of the big houses where there is an orc commander. Ah, there's uh, another orc wearing the elite armor from Gothic 2. So the troublesome part here is, of course, the base of the stairs leading to the base of the tower actually right there. Strangely unbarricaded. There's nothing to really stop the orcs from rushing up that, except for the fact that it is kind of a choke point. And it would be very difficult for them to get up unscathed, considering there are quite a few humans holding out in the castle. But the tricky part is there are orcs actually watching it, or close enough to actually see you. You try to get up there. So you want to sneak as close as you can get. Actually, you might be able to make it. If I hear shouting, I'm just running for it. This fight won't take long. I'll show you. Oh dear. We've started a mess. All right. Well. We have no choice now. Oh, jeez. Unfortunately, I'm hurting the humans as well. Oh! And yeah, apparently they're mad at me for that. Which is bullshit. God damn it, so I can't use any good spells. Let us ponder. This might work. This will be delicate. Unfortunately, using the spell might be enough to alert anybody else.
You still might get seen. Fuck. Yeah, I'm buggered. Okay. Well, they gave up pretty quick. <coughs> hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. I've started a clusterfuck again. Maybe we can actually make our way out of this alive, though. Oh, they caught me again. Ah ha ha! So I stand there and take it. Thanks. Unfortunately, I think that means I killed somebody. Oh, he got me. And how did I miss him? What? Oh, I was hitting that guy's crossbow, for fuck's sake. Come on! Must be a joke. Oh, boy. Come on, you bugger. That guy's not after me, too, is he? Fuck, he is. And he's got a crossbow. Alright, out of here. No! Everybody, get in on it. We need yous. Well done. died. You will kill no more. Stop right Damn fucking piece of shit fucker. Ah. Well, that was one commander down. Come on, hit the bastard. There we go. Okay. Don't you have anything to do? One mob of orcs effectively eradicated. We'll see what our damage is. We lost one generic knight. So all so far. Ah, uh, another man at arms. Well, not the ideal way to settle things, but now you are mine. Whoa! I thought you were dead. Stop right there. No, it's your turn. Stop targeting him. <laughs> oh, dear. Am I good or am I good? Whew. 
Well, that was a fright. Okay, continue looting. On the plus side, once you get out of all this, there's quite a lot of uh, gold to be had. Let's see what this holds. Ooh, a meteor. Might have to put that to use. What other spells does uh, this have? So yeah, the emphasis is on summoning in this school. Although you can get uh, these two here. Hailstorm, I don't know if that's as powerful as Fire Rain, but uh, Beliar School doesn't really have an equivalent to that. However, the Meteor spell is roughly equivalent to the Summon Lightning spell, which, again, uh, the this school doesn't really have anything equivalent to that. And what um, Enos' school lacks in common with the other two, of course, is the ability to actually summon anything. Although, you can... Uh, have a, you do have a spell to get a single human to follow you against his will. <clears throat> I want to go get those other two big orcs. I think I might have knocked one of them into the sea, but... Can I lift this? Probably not. That is nope, can't even start to. Uh, there are quite a f at least three of those millstones in this uh, city, I think, so... Any of you looking for some bonus strength can make use of those. Well, he almost went into the sea. Alright, uh, so that was not really the uh, most effective way to deal with that, but we didn't lose anybody important, so we're just going to leave it be where it is, because it certainly takes care of one big obstacle out of many. And where's... oh yeah, Thordir doesn't come in until later. Damn good thing you're here. I Why the hell do you look like that? A lot of promise arrived from outside. Looking at you, I must say they didn't exaggerate. I hope the situation out there isn't as hopeless as they all claim. Confound it! Where the hell did your face come from? I think one of the biggest problems with like importing new faces into this game is just that. Obviously, there's no animations for those faces, so you're putting it over a uh, a mesh that doesn't really fit. So you're the commander in chief here. Yes, damn it, and it's one hell of a job. I must see the king. Yes, absolutely. He'll be happy to see the daredevil who made his way here from outside. Go up to the castle. He'll be expecting you. I suppose I should also mention, before I talk to him some more, if you manage to make it about halfway through the city, and, uh... Yeah, if you make it about halfway through the city and decide that you just can't hack it anymore, as long as you get to the staircase, you can actually run up past all this crap that they piled on here as a makeshift barricade and get into the city that way. Or into the castle, so... Uh, it seems like they put this here to try and prevent you from doing that, but it really doesn't do that. Uh, since they decided to forego invisible walls. Well, if it isn't the problem solver. Come over here, scumbag. Let me see what a no good hero looks like. What's your problem, you weirdo? Ever since that ship, the Esmeralda, came in sight, every idiot here has been talking about you and nothing else. You are going to free us, they say. You will drive back the orcs, they say. So far, we have only gone hungry here. That's all I know. Looking at you, I really don't think you were worth all this trouble. Some can, others can't. I can. You cannot. Ha! 
May you choke on your mockery. I swear that you used to have a dialogue option for that, uh, quote. Can I trade with you? I'm no merchant. My job is just to see to it that everybody here gets fed. If you want to buy something, go to the inner fortress. How can I help you? We're cut off from the outside world, man. We're starving. We need at least 30 loaves of bread. Anyway. We're all going to keel over from starvation if we don't get some meat between our teeth. We need some 30 chunks of roasted meat. I see. I see. Is that all you've got to tell me? Where can I get food for you then? Why don't you get it from the orcs that are out there besieging the town? They seem to be much better supplied than we are. Here you are. 30 loaves of bread. Well, I'll be. You brought us bread? Ah, thanks. Here's something that will be of good use to you in the world out there. Here are oh, be good use to me, certainly. Unbelievable. You're starting to impress me. Bringing us meat, just like that? Here. This might come in handy out there. So we seem to have softened his disposition a little bit. Not to any great degree, though. Not sure what this guy is, uh, breaking the cobbles for over here. Anyway, that's why... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's why um, that was one of the toughest quests to actually complete in this game, because in the vanilla game, bread is actually surprisingly uncommon for a staple food. So it was very hard to find. If you ate any of them, you were hard-pressed to find enough to actually give to this guy. Now, let's talk to you some more. How are things up here in the castle? It is damn well much worse than it looks. We're simply taking too many losses. Even a tough man like me is beginning to have his doubts. Would you teach? Mm, I'm not sure what, but. And he's actually got. He's one of the better uh, fighter teachers. He can teach you pretty much master skills in everything. But he cannot teach you the Orc Slayer skill, which is the only fighting skill that you have to go all the way to Nordmar to get. He also can't teach Paladin or Regeneration, I guess. Actually, these might be skills you can only unlock at the end game. I'm not sure. Oh, he also can't t t uh, teach two weapon fighting either. How can I? Last night we had a skirmish with those damned Orcs from the eastern part of town. Those brutes drove us apart. One of my men didn't make it back. His name is Thordir. He's hiding somewhere in the eastern part of town. If you want to help us, go find him and bring him back in one piece. I'll be sure to do that. He apparently owes me something anyway. And here's the castle of Vengard. Not as uh, majestic as I expected. Especially not with all this laundry just hanging out here. Finally, someone from the outside. We had all but given up hope. Welcome. Let me show you my weapons. Is there anything you need for your smithy? We need weapons. The paladins are constantly fighting the orcs in town. I can barely keep up with repairs. If I had 20 bundles of weapons, I could fully equip our troops again. So he's the rebel cause that needs weapons the most. I will get the weapons for you. There are still many weapons in the besieged areas of town. The orcs are storing many weapons of human origin there that they collected, but cannot use for themselves. They are guarding the weapons so that we humans cannot wield them against orcs again. Here are your 20 bundles of weapons. Thanks. If it weren't for courageous people like you, we would have been lost long ago. Here, let me give you this to make up for your expenses. Wow. Okay, so that royal coat of arms is actually used in making the knight armor that we've heard so much about but can never actually seem to find the blueprints for. And also, we're getting reputation in Vanguard, but once again, it actually does not have any value here. There's no point to it, because there's nothing here that you need a reputation in order to achieve. Okay. My skills aren't... You will find the... It does have shields, yet here's a knight's armor. 
Forget it. You'll only get that once you've earned You do it. need more reputation to get that, though. So I guess... Oh, wait, no, that's a rebel reputation. Never mind. I'm an idiot. He's got assorted weapons. Nothing really substantial, though. He's got the ceremonial armor, which is the armor that Cobrin's wearing. Also, a strengthened iron helmet, which I think might be slightly better than the uh, paladin's helmet, although it does not have any uh, magic protection. Order sword, a bunch of these. Oh, he doesn't have any gold. I can't trade with him. So he's just a general merchant. No big deal. He does have gold, though, so we will sell to him instead. Don't need this many pickaxes. However, oh. Got a little carried away, didn't I? That'll do. Uh, this is where we needed to get all those pickaxes, so that's why I went around in Gildern beating people up. How can I help you, stranger? Since the orcs have besieged us, the quality of my goods hasn't improved. But maybe you'll still find something you like. Is there anything you need? Are you joking? We're out of pretty much everything here. We've been bleeding dry here for days. What I need the most is tools, hammers, saws, just everything. Our city was leveled. If we want to rebuild it, we need all kinds of things. I'll get you the tools. All right. We need ten hammers. Then we need five saws. And last but not least, we need around 20 pickaxes. Hey, don't look at me like that. I didn't start the war. I will see what I can do. Here, 20 pickaxes. Very good. Thank you. And apparently I don't have any of the other things. At least I kind of neglected that. Oh well. We gave him the 20 pickaxes. We need 10 hammers. Five saws. We can also get those from uh, beating up slaves, though, if you want to observe. It's uh, pretty much as easy as it was getting the pickaxes. Unfortunately, this weapon is not really strong enough to hit, to kill, take these guys down in one hit. Not even gold? Hey, folks, oh, there's a up. fight! Oh. Yeah! Oh. I don't want to see any more as good luck, Mora. Oh. Fuck off. Gold? Ah, he had a saw, too. Hey, oh. Freak it up! Oh. Ah, yes. Worthless, Mora. Do you have anything? Oh. You. Oh. There's a fight! No, you just have a rake. Right, get back to your hammering or whatever. And then we'll take your newly spawned hammer. You won't get Nothing to be had. Like I didn't have anything new. This guy won't get up. Nothing to be had there. My head. Get back to sawing. Wrong. Uh, you won't get off so easily. All right, so we've got enough saws. We just need four more hammers. do for hammers. Alright, back to Vanguard. We can finish this up. Oh, I'm a doof. Total doof. I forgot. We don't have a teleporter stone to the castle yet. Oh, fancy seeing you again.
We did miss these items apparently though, so it's a good thing I decided to come this way. Broken. Damn it. Nothing really special out here though. Getting quite a few ore blanks though. Starting to stockpile those a little bit. Tell you what, we'll take care of Thordir while we're out here, though. Since the way is pretty much clear to get him back to the castle. Thordir is right at the top of this uh, tower here. Just kind of chilling. He's. Oh, he's got a helmet now. Bullshit. Man, he looks totally different. Where's your, where's your mustache? This guy looks nothing like he used to. He used to have like a really weird, like, red hair. Red and black hair. Look like a knight with an unsettled debt. I'm good at guessing it. I know Gelford. I promised him something. I would like to redeem it. Alright, I... I, uh... Probably should have done the other thing first, but oh well. He sent me to claim the promise. What can I do for you? What do you have to offer? No, that's not the way it goes. You tell me how I can settle my debt. Let's just get him back to the castle you in first. The castle. How charming. Stop babbling. Get me out of here. Come on, move it. I'll take you back to the castle. Are you sure? Well, all right. No, you can wait up. See, I don't know why he has to charge his way back to the castle instead of following us. Broken. Since we would obviously have a safe route planned. Instead, he's just gonna go total ham. Just run right through everybody if anyone was left alive. Of course, he has to take the way that would most likely get us seen. Where the hell did you come from? I think you missed the party, buddy. And you totally missed that too. Just you wait, boy. Oh, bugger. Stop right there. Come on, Thor dear, figure it figure this out. Oh, how did that miss? Come on! What do you know? It works! Bullshit. Orcs are actually a very good way to get arrows. Each, Any orc who carries a crossbow actually carries arrows as well as bolts. Seems to be a glitch that they never really dealt with. If it weren't for you, I would have died up there. Here, take these healing potions as thanks for my rescue, stranger. My pleasure. Are we still... I have to discuss something. As a companion, you are not reliable. Presumably boiled down to something you can take with you through the barrier. You possess a teleporter stone, don't you? I wouldn't be alive right now if I tried without it. So the promise is limited to two things. Physical things and information. Or information about physical things. Well, did you think about it? Yes, I did. Listen carefully. I cannot give you the shield. But I gave the knight's shield to my brother for safekeeping. Hopefully he doesn't use it to cause mischief. Where can I find your brother? That is quite difficult. I really have no clue of his whereabouts. Let's talk again about your unsettled debt. Yeah, yeah, I know. It doesn't help you any. I have to reconsider. Drop by later. Perhaps I'll have some other idea. 
Help people or talk to the king. I've got it. You know where your brother is? No, of course not. How in hell should I know where my brother is? I have recalled a person which could possibly be of help to you. I hope you are not wrong. Otherwise, I will have to come back and chat about your promise. Just before I transferred to Vanguard, my brother and I were in Ordmar, at one of the clans. Which one? I forget the name, but they have a volcanic forge. We have spoken with one of the blacksmiths, so you could, should try your luck with them. Anything is better than nothing. I will ask you around the clans of Nornmar. Take care. Uh, hold it. You didn't tell me your brother's name. Well, this might sound funny. I don't know it anymore. A short time after the orcish storm on Vanguard, I was hit by crashing tower rubble. I was buried under rocks for a while until my fellows could dig me out. Sounds totally crazy, but I have forgotten how to appropriately bear a sword. Sounds somehow familiar to me. Let me know if you find my brother. Perhaps. Will you remember it? So that was kind of a joke. He, uh... He uh, was also buried under rubble for a matter of weeks and suffered the same fate we did. Alright, buddy. I got all your tools now. Here are your five... Terrific. I... Here are... Thanks. So much that That'll help us a lot. You don't look particularly happy. You don't say. That Abandoned by, you know, some of this ever-blue vault of magical energy. Surrounded by orcs and a negligible chance for a rescue. As good as can be. Yes, of course. Now, as you say, your situation could barely be better. Spit it out. What's wrong? Did the gear I bring help at all? Of course, but hammers and saws don't ease pain, do they? Need a healing potion? No. My wife fares poorly. For days now, she's been afflicted by a wound that does not heal. That is her. So prideful. One can see that. She's grown up among men. She doesn't look hurt. Before the orchard vanguard by storm, she was stung by an odd blood fly. For days she suffered an untold physical weakness. Then an old alchemist showed me how I can restore her power. Perhaps she needs a healing potion? Oh, if this would be enough. Do healing potions? You haven't word heard a word I said, have you? By the gods, I have been listening. More than likely you need something that is not around here. Indeed, I should have listened to her from the beginning. Please obtain a double quantity. Who knows if the disease outbreaks again, she said. And I dismissed it. Okay, tell me what you need. What must I get to help your wife? I need four plants and one mushroom. More precise, please. I can bring you many plants and mushrooms are growing here, too. For the restorative essence, I need two mana plants and two healing plants and one demon mushroom. The mushroom cap serves as a receptacle and absorbs all the minor substances at one go. Two mana plants, two healing plants, and one demon mushroom. Yes, exactly. Here you have your demon mushroom. Alright, I can move with the stripe and... And Dorn, I want to bring you the plants as well. Plants? All of these plants and two mana. And three healing plants indeed. But you wanted... Wait a minute. Three healing plants? Three mana and four healing plants. Vandorn? Yes. I bring for your convenience a five mana and five healing plants, alright? I hope five mana and healing plants will suffice. Now you accept these plants and set yourself to work. But that's too many. Oh, shut up. Alright, I'm not really sure what the joke was there, but it was very lengthy and very tedious, and I'm glad it's done. This shit don't need this shit. And it gets worse. A lot of booze. Don't need this much booze. Although booze actually, now that I think about it, might as well keep it. Behaves like water in its uh, ability to restore your endurance. So it'll help in that. Uh, strangely enough, it'll actually help in uh, staving off dehydration in Varent. All right, that'll do for now. Thank you. Oh, you know, I've never really noticed this area before. Whatever, we'll rest here before we meet with the king. The man himself. King Robar II. Welcome, Redeemer. Word of your deeds has raced ahead of you. Why Redeemer? Enos himself spoke to me. He said that a ship would bring our salvation. I sent the Esmeralda, and she brought you. It was your orders that put me behind the barrier in the first place. And thus you could find out who you truly are. 
It was you who defeated the Sleeper and the Dragons of Corinus. My guards merely gave you a push in the right direction. What Quite needs literal to be push. Done? No doubt you have already accomplished great deeds, but if we want to win this war, you will have to accomplish even more. Much more. I charge you with an important mission. What sort of mission? The Orcs have only won this war because they have allied themselves with Zadas. He has used his dark power and rendered our holy runes ineffective. Now he has ordered excavations in the desert. He is looking for something. I want you to seek out Zardas. Find out what his plans are. I see. And that's it. I'm thinking. And the king has nothing more for us. He turns out to be quite shallow, which is very unfortunate, considering how important of a character he, turn he was supposed to be. Not exactly a handsome fellow, either. Very stylish. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, of course he will talk to you more once you, uh, get further in the story, but apart from that, no, that's pretty much it. I expected more dialogue the first time I played this. You've got nothing really that special. And of course, you have to be careful trying to steal anything here. You can loot any area of the city freely, but you cannot loot the castle without risking trouble. I just feel like taking a look around. So here we're on the, one of the high towers. Not really much up here, but a nice view. So this is the only game that Piranha Bytes ever actually included any kind of first person view. And it was a very bad idea. Because of how glitchy it is. In fact, the only thing in the world I'd say is that is worse than this is the first-person mod for Dark Souls. But I suppose if you really want to, you can do it this way. And of course, it, the way they do it, it doesn't change to a different camera completely. Instead, it just puts the camera right inside the hero's head. So if you look down, you can you can actually see his eye sockets. So it's not you're not exactly looking from his eyes. Of course, no one who plays their games has ever actually wanted a first-person mode, as far as I know. Hmm. How dare this chest. Oh! That's quite a nice find. Generally, you have a certain allowance that you can endure before people will start calling you out on missing objects. There you are at last. I am Charypto, the highest fire mage in the realm. Let us not waste any valuable time. We need to talk, Redeemer. Of course, being the absolute highest fire mage, you would think that he'd have a lot to tell you and be very sp particularly special to the story. In truth, he really is not. He does have a couple really big, long-reaching quests, or at least one which is the Fire Chalice quest. But even then, he's not the end of that quest. And in fact, I think he's really just a step along the process. Let's find what out. What do you want with me? The rune magic as we mages knew it no longer exists. Zardas has done a thorough job. His betrayal of the Order of Fire is unforgivable. We must explore the ancient knowledge and find out how we can work magic again without the aid of our runes. And you must help the paladins find another way to use their magic. Where is Zardus now? You know we've been cut off from the outside world, Redeemer. If anyone can find out his whereabouts, it is you. 
What should I do for the paladins? My brethren in the monastery in Nordmar are working on a plan. They want to restore magic to the paladins using so-called fire chalices. I'm sorry, I don't know much more about it. I've been secluded here for too long. There are 12 chalices distributed throughout the land. Find them and take them to Nordmar, Redeemer. The paladin Marcus has been trying for days to bring you a fire chalice. Marcus is a loyal soul. Not particularly brave, but completely reliable. Tell me more about the barrier surrounding the city. One must never use a barrier spell frivolously, but nevertheless, when the orcs attacked this city, we had no other choice. The qualities of such a powerful spell are very unstable and unpredictable. Just think of the barrier in the Valley of Mines in Corinis. What a disaster. You can say that again. When are you going to remove the barrier? That will only happen once the orcs have been defeated and are no longer a threat to us. Enos alone knows when that will be. What's the best way to leave this town again? Over there on the alchemist's bench. I keep a teleportation stone that will take you safely out of town. So far, I haven't entrusted it to anyone or used it myself because I knew you would come, Redeemer. Sure you did. Tell me. The artifacts of the Ancient Ones are found throughout the country. You need to find artifacts that bear the power of magic within themselves and learn to work the old magic. The more you learn, the more we too will benefit from your experience. Of course you already know some about it, otherwise... Uh... You wouldn't really be much use as a teacher. You aren't... Oh, that's gonna be a while. <laughs> Go. Guess we'll just keep investing in ancient knowledge for now. Well, I also shit. I need to do uh. Show me. What's it called? Oh yeah. Not yet. First, prove that you are worthy. Can't. We only need one more point of reputation with the rebels to get that. Bugger. Alright, well, we have this. It's not really all that helpful, to be honest. Actually, no. That one was helpful. This one is not. This spell is, uh, it says no one knows where it goes, but this one is actually the one that, uh, it's your only way out of town if you have no other teleportation spells. The other one that we found on this table right here actually leads you directly to the castle. We'll test both of those in just a minute. There's nothing new here. Damn. Hopefully he'll go to bed at some point, because I want to see if his has any new knowledge on it. There he goes. Excellent. Here it says something about alchemy. Is that all? Okay, so he just stands here. Has an apple. Alright, so first one. Directs... That uh, got uh, teleports directly to the throne room, and here we are. The other one leads just outside of Vanguard. So that's that. We're out here. That road will lead you to the bridge near Ferry. So we've already been here. I've showed you this guy's, showed you guys this before. So let's head back to the throne room. Because now we need to set about taking the city back for the cause of the humans. And having our... Oh, look at this. These poor suckers. They're sleeping in the pig pen. 